I'm Bonnie Steepleton, Director of Student and Career Services at the University of New Mexico School of Law. Welcome to our podcast, and today we have Professor Reed Benson. He is in Natural Resources and Environmental Law, and we're going to talk about what you do, Professor, and tell students a little bit about some different exciting things. So tell me a little bit first about you and what you teach here and your background, if you don't mind. So I went to law school because I wanted to be an environmental advocate, and uh, I graduated and went into private practice. Then I worked for... uh, EPA headquarters for a while in Washington, D.C., and then I did what I sort of always wanted to do, which is uh, work for environmental groups, uh, and had a lot of fun with that, and then I found teaching. And so uh, I have now been uh, on the faculty here at UNM uh, for 13 years. Wow, that's already getting to be a while. It is getting to be a while. Yes, and obviously you teach environmental law courses, and uh, my memory might be wrong, but in do you admin law? Mm-hmm, that's right. That's an important class. It's a very important class for environmental law and natural resources, how government agencies uh, make decisions and how courts look at them. Great. Yeah, I'd encourage students to take it, even if they're not interested in environmental law, which it's everyone fundamental. should be. <laughs> but yes, when I was in school, it was required, actually. Okay. Yeah, we had a class. It was called Legislative and Administrative Process. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Michael Browdy taught it. It was great. All right. All right. So, yeah, we still uh, encourage students to uh, take administrative law. And uh, as you say, whether especially if they're interested in environmental uh, environmental and natural resources, but uh, even if they're not. I would also plug the certificate program at this point. It's required for that. Yes. It's not required, but uh, it's one of our core courses. Okay. Excellent to know. Also an option here at this school, which is one of the great things. Yes. Uh, So one of the things that our certificate program emphasizes is giving students a chance to uh, learn the field uh, beyond the classroom. And so there are a few ways to do that. uh, But one of one that we always encourage students to uh, to consider and pursue is uh, an externship. One of the cool things about UNM is that we're in um, a city big enough to have some federal regional offices. So we've got, uh, for example, the regional office for the interior solicitor, um, the Department of Interior's general counsel. They do legal work on behalf of the Fish and Wildlife Service, Park Service, uh, Bureau of Land Management, um, and and others. So uh, we've got students every year who work for that office. And uh, the general counsel of the Department of Agriculture is also here in uh, regional offices here in Albuquerque. So students can work for those agencies and uh, they can do it either in the summer or during the school year. And uh, it's a a, a great chance not only to get um, experience hands-on in the field, but also to meet people who are doing this work. And as you know, very important. Yes, networking is key. And I happen to teach the externship classroom component. So I really love partnering with you and your students in these fields because they really get a great experience in a, a field that might be hard to break into at first anyway. So you really can see what it's like to work there, who the people are, what the processes are. It's really terrific. Yes, yes. And we've been talking about feds, but there are other uh, opportunities as well. State agencies like uh, New Mexico uh, Environment Department, the state water agencies, uh, the Public Regulation Commission have all uh, hosted externships and uh, and also uh, 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 conservation groups, nonprofits. Uh, If they've got an attorney on staff uh, can uh, can can host an extern. So um, it's uh, it's. A great way to um, learn more and, um, you know, hopefully get your foot in the door. So, you know, tell one story about uh, a student who was, uh, uh, after his first year, he got an, uh, an internship with the USDA General Counsel here in Albuquerque. He hadn't yet taken any of the courses that would really prepare him to do that, but he spent a summer there and decided that that was his dream job. And um, he finished law school. They didn't have any openings, so he went into private practice, enjoyed what he was doing, liked who he was working with, gained experience. And when the general counsel's office here in Albuquerque finally had an opening, he got the job. And uh, he uh, he's thrilled to be doing work that he 
uh, feels was uh, is his ideal gig. Uh, this early out of law school probably wouldn't have happened if he hadn't done that externship. Yes, I like that story, and and I also what I heard you say that I really love is that it was he was patient and waited. Mm-hmm. That sometimes the externship doesn't necessarily result in an at grad offer. But somewhere down the line, those connections you make remain in place and are strong and ended up really working out for him. That's yes. a great story. He's now in a very important person uh, in uh, in the state today and, uh, you know, loves his work. Uh, but, yeah, it didn't, it didn't happen for him right away. A lot of times, of course, uh, a student doesn't get their ideal job right away. But, uh, you know, he kept his eye on the ball That's and, great. Uh, and knew what he wanted to do. So it's a great story because for me and my job – for people, I try to explain that it's not necessarily that an externship will get their foot in the door the very minute they graduate. And what I like about your story is that he was patient and the seed was planted and it took a while, but he got there. And I see that happen a lot in, in my job where I'm working with students who they have to take a few steps to get there, but they always do. And especially with the added connections and experience that they had gotten in their externship. Yeah. He, uh, he made the most of it. Uh, and, uh, uh, and it came it came came through for him, you know, a couple of years after he graduated. So, and we've been talking about uh, opportunities with feds, and that's always great experience. But there's also uh, opportunities with state agencies, uh, the New Mexico Environment Department, uh, state water agencies, Public Regulation Commission, which is uh, uh, heavy into electricity regulation. All have hosted our students for externships and. Uh, those are uh, also nice opportunities, plus things like uh, nonprofit groups, uh, uh, environmental groups. Uh, there's a, a, a range of things that students can do if they're interested. Externship is a great way to get your foot in the door, and it's a rich and meaningful experience for most students. And so we appreciate your support, especially, and the other environmental law professors in connecting people to these opportunities and networking. One important thing about externships is they can happen um, any semester, spring, fall, summer. For students who do this kind of work in the summer, if they work for a government agency or a nonprofit in our field that wouldn't otherwise be able to pay them, the Natural Resources and Environmental Law Program makes available stipends competitively. So uh, the last few years, we've been able to support two or three students doing this kind of work in the summer. It's not a lot of money, but it's better than none. And it's a way to try to support students uh, to get where they want to go and make sure that they can do work that was valuable to them, but otherwise they would maybe feel they couldn't afford. Yeah, that's really important because, as you know, you're having to pay the tuition for the credits, especially in the summer if that's all you're doing. So that's a great opportunity. What's the normal application time frame? So for the, for the stipend applications, we've been uh, uh, setting a deadline right after spring break, late March. Uh, You apply, the student applies in conjunction with their summer employer, and uh, we turn around the decisions pretty quickly. So uh, it's uh, it's valuable, and uh, it's another way we try to support students doing this kind of work. Thank you so much for being here today. It's been great having you, and I encourage students to contact you and the other natural resources professors to learn about these great opportunities. Yes, and uh, always good to talk with students about what what they're interested in. Uh, We can uh, then try to connect people with a good opportunity that that fits their their interests and needs. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it.